Hi, this is a continuation of my toothbrush rug. This is how to attach the strips that you've torn and cut holes on each end of your strips. I'm using contrasting fabric so that you can see it easier. I'm gonna, the dark is towards you, the light one is towards me. You line up the holes, holes lined up. The one that is facing me, the light one, I'm gonna put through the hole and then loop it through. And then as it gets closer, you're just gonna wanna watch it so that you can have it be a neat and tidy. Kinda help it a little bit, see how it, you don't wanna pull too hard cause you don't wanna rip your little buttonhole. And believe it or not, this just blends in with your rug. So you're gonna make a long strip. You can use a really long strip for your for your chaser, the one that you're chasing around, but the one that you're actually pulling through and looping through the hole, you don't want to be so long that you're pulling forever and ever and ever and it feels like you're never going to get the rug done because you're going to be pulling all day and your arm's going to hurt. So don't do that. You just add on to the end. This is my end with my pin on it. And when it gets about here, I'd say that's about, you know, eight inches long, then that's when I add another strip to it. I have two of the same fabrics going because I don't like to see, you can see in through here in different spots, but I don't know if you can pick it up. But this yellow right here, I used a white sheet underneath and you can really see it popping through. And I decided I really didn't like that look so much. So, especially with the darker fabrics, like I used this cranberry color, I used the same sheet underneath. Just so that you don't see it poking through because especially with the darker colors, it would really show up. And then another mistake that I feel like I made, but no one else is gonna pick it out but me. Um, in the beginning, there's some sheets that are kind of like two-sided like you can see this light green one it kind of has like a good side and a bad side where the color on the other side of the sheet isn't the same so i purposely don't pick those sheets anymore to put in my rug because i don't want to see the variation and um honestly it's way too much work to try to flip it around the fabric to flip it around as you're um, putting it into your carpet just more work that you don't need and then another trick that I have for you is my carpet is somewhat oval. It's curved on the ends. And I learned this the hard way. You have to increase as you go around. I, um, I know how to crochet, kind of, not really so good. And um, if you know how to crochet, you know how to add on. So how you do it is you go through, well, this is how I do it. I don't know if it's the right way or not, but you go through the same hole twice and that essentially adds an extra knot so it increases for your corner and in general I like to increase like where this corner is right here I like to do it one or two times but I separate it a few inches on each curve like as the carpet gets bigger I'll do two increases here and then two probably up at the top and then two more around the edge and you do that all the way around um, on the ends because as I go through my carpet, it's a straight run for a long distance. And you don't want to increase on the straight parts, just on the ends. So that's some of my tips. And I hope that you guys all enjoy making your toothbrush rug.